Coco, Musical, from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Coco was a 1969 Broadway musical with a book and lyrics by Alan J. Lerner and music by Andre Previn, inspired by the life of Coco Chanel. It starred Katharine Hepburn in her only stage musical. Background Theater producer Frederick Brisson originally had optioned Chanel's life for his wife, Rosalind Russell, but Russell had developed acute arthritis, making it difficult for her to function. That meant another leading lady with star quality needed to be found. Irene Selznick suggested Catherine Hepburn, who initially scoffed at the idea of appearing in a musical, but agreed to work with former MGM vocal coach Roger Edens for ten days. Following an audition in Selznick's suite at the Pierre Hotel, Hepburn felt comfortable enough to mull seriously the proposition and was further convinced to accept the role after meeting Chanel. Lerner had assured the designer his book would cover only the early years of her life and career, and she was distressed when the plan was jettisoned to accommodate the older star. The highly fictionalized book and score underwent massive revisions and were far from complete when Hepburn concluded filming on The Mad Woman of Chao, at which time she was scheduled to begin work on the show, and Coco was postponed a season while its creators worked on it. The six-week rehearsal period finally began in September 1969. Cecil Beaton's set proved to be a complicated piece of machinery that frequently malfunctioned and was difficult for the cast to maneuver, and the final scene required a troublesome coordination of mirrors, platforms, runways, and flashing lights. Hepburn insisted the theater's thermostat be set at 60 degrees and the exterior doors left open, and most of the cast became ill due to the unusually cold fall weather. Production after 40 previews, the Broadway production opened on December 18, 1969 at the Mark Hellinger Theater, where it ran for 329 performances. Directed by Michael Benthall and choreographed by Michael Bennett, the cast included René Aubergenois, George Rose, Michael Allenson, David Holliday, Bob Avian, John Seifer, Suzanne Rogers, Graciela Danielle, Anne Reinking, and Gail Dixon. Danielle Dariu replaced Hepburn eight months into the run, but without the drawing power of a major star, the poorly reviewed show closed two months later. Hepburn was scheduled to star in a West End production, but when the Theatre Royal Drury Lane proved to be unavailable, she refused to consider other venues and the project was abandoned. She headed the cast of the U.S. National Tour, which opened in Cleveland on January 11, 1971, the day after Chanel's death, which the star acknowledged at the final curtain call. She continued with the tour through June, when it ended at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Los Angeles. Although reviews in most cities were mediocre, it played to sold-out houses everywhere. Despite its financial success, executives at Paramount Pictures, which had financed the original Broadway production at $900,000, the most expensive show in Broadway history at the time, in exchange for the cast album and film rights, opted not to transfer Coco to the big screen. Coco was produced as a staged concert by 42nd Street Moon in San Francisco in April and May 2008, starring Andrea Marcovici in the title role. The production played for a total of 16 performances. It was directed by Mark D. Kaufman and choreographed by Jane Zabin. Marcovici revisited the role in September 2010 for the show's first New York revival as part of the York Theatre Company's musicals in Mufti. Coco was presented in London's Sadler's Wells in 2011 as part of the Lost Musicals Project, also known as the Lost Musicals Charitable Trust 1069268. Ian Marshall Fisher directed, Chris Walker, music director. Coco, the title role, was played by Sarah Kestelman, and the cast included Edward Petherbridge. Plot Summary Set between early autumn of 1953 and late spring of 1954, fashion designer Coco Chanel, after 15 years of retirement, decides to return to the world of haute couture and reopen her Paris salon. With her new collection derided by the critics, she faces bankruptcy until buyers from four major American department stores, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's, Best & Company, and Orbox, place orders with her. She becomes involved with the love life of one of her models, and flashbacks utilizing filmed sequences recall her own past romantic flings. Adding humor to the proceedings is a highly stereotypical, rude, gay designer who tries to impede Chanel's success. The finale is a fashion show featuring actual Chanel designs from 1918 to 1959. Musical Numbers Act 1 Overture But That's the Way You Are Alex The World Belongs to the Young Coco Let's Go Home, Georges, Mademoiselle Cliché de Paris, Coco, On the Corner of the Rue Cambon, Coco, The Money Rings Out Like Freedom, Coco and Ensemble, A Brand New Dress, Noel, A Woman Is How She Loves, Georges, 
Gabrielle, Papa, Coco, Coco, and the preparation, Coco and Company. Act two, Entredact. Fiasco, Sebastian, when your lover says goodbye, Gref. Coco reprise, Coco. Orbox, Bloomingdale's Best in Sacks, Coco and the Buyers. Orbox, Bloomingdale's Best in Sacks reprise, Coco and Ensemble. And Always Mademoiselle, Coco and the Mannequins. A cast recording was released by Paramount Records in 1970. It was reissued on CD by MCA Records in 1997. Awards and Nominations Original Broadway Production 1970 Tony Award Best Musical Nominated Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical Catherine Hepburn Nominated Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical René Abergenois Won Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical George Rose Nominated Best Direction of a Musical Michael Benthall Nominated Best Choreography Michael Bennett Nominated Best Costume Design, Cecil Beaton, won. 1970 Theatre World Award, David Holliday, won. This article was recorded November 3, 2019.